Hello my quilting friends! My name is Leah Day and welcome to this long arm quilting basics video. Today I am attaching leader cloth to my continuum frame and this is one of those things I get a lot of questions about. A lot of quilters are concerned about putting this on the right way so that way it spins around your rails in the proper direction so that way you load your quilts properly. So let's learn how to do this together. Your first step is to take everything out of your leader cloth package. And the first thing you should know is that a continuum frame comes with your pack of leader cloth. Now, if you expand your frame like I recently did, I decided to go on ahead and purchase a longer leader cloth so that way it would all be in one nice long piece. So this is my new 10 foot leader cloth to go with my 10 foot frame. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. The very first thing, we're gonna fold the leader cloth pieces in half and folding it in half lengthwise, find the midpoint, okay? And then mark that with a permanent black magic marker. I already marked that one. So I'm gonna do that again right here. Just hold those corners together nicely and go all the way down to the midpoint, just folding that in half. And you'll find your leader cloth already has Velcro sewn into it. And that's gonna come in handy because that's how we attach the leader cloth to the frame with really sturdy Velcro strips. Works great. Okay, so I just take a permanent black magic marker and mark right along that midpoint and do the same thing to the other side. And while you're doing this, you can also kind of figure out the lengths of your leader cloth. Uh, sorry, the length is the length of the frame. So that should be the same for all of them. The width of your leader cloth, however, you're gonna have three pieces and each piece is going to be a different width. So you can see this one is nice and wide. And uh, this first one that I had in my hand was really short. It was only about 10 inches wide. And that one, the short one is gonna go on your back rail. This one looks actually, when I compare it to this one, you can see actually this one's the medium width. It's about 18 to 20 inches wide. This is gonna go on your top front rail. And then the widest piece of leader cloth is gonna go on your bottom front rail. And this is important. I'll explain why we want different widths in different places on these rails. Okay, so the next step is to attach your Velcro. So it comes in rolls like this. You have three rolls. And what you're gonna do is just take off the tape here that's holding it together, get a friend and stretch it out all the way across the length of your frame. Now I already have this attached, so I don't need to do this right this second, but basically you wanna pull it nice and tight and that's gonna help it be in one nice long straight line across. And then there's some paper backing. You're gonna remove the paper backing and smooth out the Velcro all the way down the frame. And I like to use the back of one of my hex wrenches that I use for putting the frame together to burnish along it. So I go right along that Velcro and rub back and forth. And that just helps that sticky to stick real firmly to the rail. And this is some super duper Velcro guys. It is heavy duty stuff. I have not had any problem with this lifting off at all. Now the ends are one thing. I wanna show you what I do specially on the ends. So here is the end of my piece of Velcro. And I just found those corners did want to lip up just ever so slightly and they were a little sharp. So what I did was I just wrapped this entire end with amazing tape. And I will link this up so that way you can easily find it. It's excellent stuff. It's not sticky. This doesn't have any kind of sticky residue. It's not got a, like a sticky film or anything like that on it. It's basically like upholstery vinyl, very thin plastic, and it only sticks to itself which is really cool. So you just wrap it around and around just like so, and then it sticks to itself and seals up the end of that Velcro just exactly right. So that's how I attached the Velcro, nice straight line and secured the ends on all of my rails. You can see this one too. That's exactly how I got all of those, all of the Velcro attached. So the Velcro is attached and this is the back rail that I'm working with here. And now I have a two foot extension here, you can see, and I needed to mark the center point of that. Now, if you don't have a two foot extension, if you just have an eight foot frame, well then you're gonna have a dead set center point where your rails come together in the middle of your frame. So only if you have a two foot extension will you have to measure and find that midpoint. Okay, 
So what I'm gonna do is take my shortest piece of leader cloth. This is the back rail leader cloth. It's only gonna be about 10 inches wide. I'm gonna line up that midpoint with the midpoint on that I've marked on the leader cloth, just like so. So just line that up and then smooth that down. And again, you might wanna grab a tool from putting the frame together and just burnish along this. Let me grab that tool. You can use a coffee cup, just whatever you got on hand. <laughs> you know, and what this does is it just really helps that Velcro to bond securely with the Velcro on the leader cloth. Okay, now the number one question that a lot of people have in the kind of confusion is how this rolls up onto the frame. So you can see the most important thing is that the leader cloth is facing up, so that way you can see the words. Now I've latched my uh, latch on the side, and as I roll it up, you can see this is what the leader cloth's gonna do. It's going to roll backwards on itself, and it's supposed to do that. And then you're going to pin the backing of your quilt to this edge. That's how you secure the backing, the top edge of the backing to your leader cloth. And I have another video on loading a long arm. You can find that at leahday.com slash load. Okay, so now we have the two longer widths of leader cloth. You wanna take the longest one, the one that's the absolute widest, that's gonna go on your bottom front rail. I'm just gonna tuck it down here just to get it out of the way. So now I'm gonna take the medium width, the one that's about, I think it's about 18 to 20 inches wide. I'm gonna line this up with that midpoint I've marked again and smooth this out. You wanna just be nice and firm pressure. And again, it does not hurt to go through and give it a little scrub with a, you know, wrench or, you know, something kind of soft, but that will, you can put some pressure on it. I'll grab my hex wrench and just go over it like so. And that just really helps that Velcro to bond with itself and lock the leader cloth to the frame. Now the confusing thing about this is how it rolls over the front of the rail. So it's coming over the front of the rail, the back goes under the back rail. And I'll show you another shot of that in just a second. But here you can see, you wanna be able to see the printed lines on your leader cloth. So that way you could hold your backing fabric against this and pin along that line of dots a half of an inch from the edge. So I'm gonna roll this up to get it out of my way. And then now I'll attach this last piece. Now let's attach our longest piece of leader cloth to the bottom front rail. This is just a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna show it to you two different ways. I'm going to have this printed side face up. I'm gonna go over the top front rail and then lock the Velcro to the bar. I've already latched it so it wasn't rolling around the right way. So there we go. I'm just lining up that Velcro with that midpoint and securing it down. Now I'll show that to you in a different way. So here's a different angle to see how to attach this front bottom rail leader cloth. Here it is face up on that front top rail. I pull it down. I line up the midpoint marked on the rail with the midpoint marked on the leader cloth line that up nicely and smooth it down. So the most important thing is just being able to see those printed lines face up on the frame. That's your most important thing. And then how it rolls up onto the rails, that's really determined by how the cams work. So it really makes it easy to understand. So now I'm gonna roll this one up and you can see how it kind of is like a scrolling action. It comes over the top and then down and around the back. And that's how it rolls up. So one last angle, just to make sure we've got everything right. You can see this back leader cloth, it's the shortest piece. It's coming through, the printed side is face up, but it goes underneath that back rail and attaches to the Velcro that way. The front top rail, you can see, printed side facing up, it's coming over and around that rail to roll up there. And then the bottom front rail, let me unlatch it, that's going 
over the top printed side face up and then down and around the back of that bottom front rail. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot about getting your leader cloth installed so you are ready to start quilting. Now you can find another video on how to load your long arm at leahday.com slash load. That video covers how to pin your backing fabric and your quilt top to this leader cloth and get started quilting. But recently I've changed things up and I started using a new tool to make loading the long arm even faster. And that is Renee's Red Snappers. So I'm actually going to be taking this leader cloth right back off the frame and stitching it so that way I can insert this tube into the end of the leader cloth. And then from there I clamp using these little clamps and that's how I secure my backing fabric and quilt top to the leader cloth using this system. So you can find another video on how to use Renee's Red Snappers, how to modify your leader cloth a little bit in order for this to work at leahday.com snapper. There's so much to learn as always with long arm quilting. So I hope that you're enjoying following along and learning with me. You can find all Grace Company products, tools, and supplies at leahday.com slash grace. Until next time, let's go quilt.